the gods reveal in a mystic rhyme, healing dreams in the cosmic time. Luck enhances bloom, fragrant and rare. Love, career, and money all on the cards. Ah. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hello, so good to see you, lovely. <laughs> Hello, Ketki, where's your backdrop? We don't know which sign you belong to. Putting, putting, <laughs> just give me two minutes. <laughs> okay, done, done, done. But Jess, it's over to you. You have to, <laughs> you're the host. Absolutely. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Today, I'm your host. My name is Jessica. And I'm a Capricorn, as my sign says. <laughs> so um, today we are doing the tarot show with Alka. Uh, it's weird calling her just Alka. It's ma'am for me. <laughs> uh, this time it's a bit different. We have uh, beautiful souls joining who are from different uh, zodiacs. And uh, today we'll talk about different things. But to begin with, let's uh, why not let's just talk about how our month of March has been. Let's just give it a minute or a minute and a half and let's talk about it. So let's begin with um, Ketki, since you just put up your <laughs> backdrop. So we'll go ahead with Ketki. Could you share something about uh, how your March has been? Okay, so um, it was, uh, I would say, mixed feelings. <laughs> I, I was suffering from something. But this March, uh, I felt strength because uh, I found some new ways to, uh, you know, cope up with the things which I've been suffering uh, from from past few months. So, yeah, and uh, looking forward for my career and um, taking care of myself, uh, putting myself first and uh, thinking about myself first. <laughs> Wonderful. So let's move on. Let's go to Jyoti. Jyoti, over to you. Hi. Hi, everyone. So mine was totally... Uh, I had all the experiences in this one month itself. <laughs> right from enjoyment to thrill to surprises. And a lot, lot, lots have been happening. And now I'm in Goa chilling. So wow. finally relaxing in the end of the month. So it started off very, very uh, tense and all all uh, all experiences I had. But now I'm cool. By the end of the month, things are settled and now I'm enjoying myself. So that that's that's my side. Beautiful. Lovely. I envy that. I guess the month of March has brought in the envious feeling that you're in Goa. <laughs> Ending it on that <laughs> <Okay>. note. <laughs> yes. uh, moving on to Tanu. Tanu, let's hear from you. Uh, yeah, I guess mostly mixed um, month. Uh, March 23rd is my daughter's birthday. So usually March is a very happy month for me. This year, since the start, has been a little bit difficult going through some life stuff. So I would say mostly it's mixed. There has been highs and then there has been lows. Okay. As long as you're smiling, the highs and lows will work it itself out. <laughs> there, there's the smile. <laughs> Thank you. Moving on to add, I am going to take my time pronouncing this name I'm Dr. Correctly. Caroline Dr. Caroline Dr. Caroline because I can't see the whole name hi Dr. <laughs> Caroline I hand it over to you hello um thank you um well it has been a roller coaster ride for me as well uh so many things have been happening yeah uh but uh, I just hope that uh, this is all part of us and part of life I guess uh, it's um, reminding me that uh, there's a lot of room for improvement. So that's what I have to say. 
Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Caroline. Uh, Ma'am, I guess it's your turn. Let's hear about your march. Okay, you want me? Okay. Well, let me tell you one thing, you know, um, unlike 23, when 23 began, it was like, wow. So like all of you have been saying, you know, it was the same way. It wasn't exactly what I had thought about. And, you know, me, uh, being in uh, being a person of a cult, you know, even even then, you know, I at times it was very weird. It was like. Immediately, there was a little bit of happiness and immediately there was something which did put me completely off. So there were a lot of revelations, you know, I don't know, maybe you also felt that energy. There was a lot of revelations and whatever was revealed was not exactly good. So, you know, there was that, uh, you know, that those moments where you just wanted to be uh, with your own self and not meet people too much. So there were those kinds of times that happened. And I think it happened to the best of us. Uh, the first two, three months of uh, 2024, even though this is a year of if you just uh, take 24, it's the year number six, which means the planet Venus. But if you add up 2024 completely, it comes to Saturn month, Saturn year, which eight. is eight. And eight. you know how eight can be. Eight gives you a lot of trouble because it's like you never know from where to move. But there are two things. If you can stick to those two things, one is the fact that if you continue doing the hard work that you're doing, no matter what. It makes you work very hard. And let me tell you, Jess, you're a Capricorn. I'm an Aquarian. Dr. Caroline is a is an Aquarian. So people belonging to these two signs, especially, you know, are heavily influenced by Saturn. So we would have probably felt it the most. And for the others, they would have felt it also if they had those Saturnian energies in their, uh, you know, in their, uh, what do I call it? In their, uh, in their own signs, you know, so. That Let's is their start. own, yeah, that is their own exclusive reading when you do it. But otherwise, generally, everybody felt the pinch. Uh, and I felt yes. it too. But um, you know what? I think where we went wrong was, that is why I wanted to do this, that beginning April, 1st of April, 2024, please begin with this very, very powerful affirmation. You have to be saying this 11 times. Uh, there is no binding that you do it in the morning, you do it uh, before a bath or after a bath or, you know, before you're praying or after you're praying, it doesn't really matter. Any time that suits you, any time that you can completely be with what you're saying, just say those words. It doesn't take long. It will just take you about a minute, two minutes, maximum three minutes. It depends on the way you speak. But Chant this 11 times and if you can, you know, I'm not asking a big thing to do, but yes, if you can light some uh, incense sticks, especially, especially the fragrant sandalwood, sandalwood and jasmine together. If you can do these two uh, fragrances together, it will make life a lot easier. So no matter the tough times that you're going to, it's absolutely okay. It won't really hurt you or pinch you. I'm not saying the tough times won't come. They will come. And let me tell you one more thing. No matter how many rituals you do or no matter how many things that you do, you know, oh, if I do this, this will happen. Uh, if somebody told me that, you know, if I offer this, this will happen. It doesn't work that way all the time. You have to put in your efforts and there can be no compromises on your efforts. Yes, when you're doing certain things to activate your planets or to activate your numbers or to activate certain areas of your life, that will help. That will help in whatever you're doing. But the hard work, no compromise. The discipline, no compromise. And especially in this year of Saturn, I think this is for everyone. We cannot compromise on the hard work. And let me tell you one thing. There was this prediction um, I did for India. And which in which I said that, you know, uh, 2024, the year predictions for our country, Mera Bharat Mahan. And uh, I did mention that, you know, this year, justice will prevail so you know people are going to be the real scoundrels are going to come to light and if you see the news i'm sure all of you are following up on news and even if tanushree's in canada i'm sure she knows the news in india there's so many things have come to light and uh, you know what's happening in the political scenario and i said that i said that will happen and i did say that rules will be made that will ensure that whoever does wrong even though secretly they will definitely, you know, uh, 
they will definitely get what they deserve. Let me put it in a nice way. They will get what they deserve. So don't worry. If you feel that you have been harmed in some way, it's okay. It's a lot to do with your current actions. You know, don't compromise on your actions. Remember that action alone is thy province. And if you can even refer to your scriptures, you know, in our Gita, the Bhagavad Gita, it says, action alone is thy province. Karm kiye ja, fal ki itcha, mat kar in e insan. So, you know, it's all about actions. It's all about work. Don't compromise on that. Keep doing what you're doing. There'll be times when you'll feel low, but just go ahead and do it. Now, what is that affirmation? I'll quickly tell all of you. If you want to write it, go ahead, write it. And um, otherwise, you can also always, you know, rewind this or whenever, you know, you can watch it again and again and you can get it. So it is. It's very simple. You have to take a deep breath. You have to release it from the nose. And you have to feel it in your navel. When you're taking a deep breath, you have to feel it in your navel. Uh, you should know that this portion is your third eye. And this is your crown chakra. I hope all of you know that. So you have to close uh, your eyes. Imagine that there is nothing. And then take a deep breath and feel it in your navel and then release. Do this a couple of times. You'll start feeling relaxed and then speak this. I speak. I lead with confidence. I'm heard. I'm noticed. I'm remembered. 11 times daily, the entire month of April, this, these particular words, now they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 words. These 12 words will activate your inner worth, your self-worth. Because what happens, it will activate your heart chakra. Because, you know, at many times we look at what everybody else, we help others, we do things for others, but we forget to do something for our own self. When we do this okay. chanting, we will be more productive and, you know, things will start falling in place. And we will come next month and you will share your experiences and tell me how it helped you. So make sure you do this for 11 times, just chanting 11 times. You can put on some nice music also at the backdrop and say this. 11. It depends. Or even if you're commuting, however, no rules here. You can just do it. But do it with faith. Remember trust. Remember to flow with the tide. And just go with it. And... Uh, things will fall in place. Maybe it will be a little troublesome at times, but that's okay. Now also for the month of April, we need to understand one thing. We need to have a balanced equilibrium at home. See, at the workplace, we cannot do it. But if we have it at home, we will be able to have a good month of uh, April. Now for a balanced equilibrium, I don't ask you to do any heavy stuff. I'm just asking you to just make these little arrangements in your home. So there are basically four directions. Let's begin with the east direction first. In the east direction, if you can put up a picture of the rising sun, or you can even, you know, you we get, uh, at least in India, we do get a brass uh, sun, brass sun god. If you can put that up on your east wall of your home, you know, East wall. Now, it can be in any room or it could be in a room where you spend a lot of time with the family. So everybody gets, you know, gets the energies of that, uh, the rising sun. Put that on the east wall. Okay. On the west side of your home, you can uh, place the figurine of a camel. Figurine of a camel. On your south wall, Put some, uh, you know, a picture of some red flowers or just have a red painting or, you know, um, if you can, if you're thinking of getting your uh, home painted. So if you could have a particular portion of your south wall done in red, that will activate your south direction. And for the north direction, anything to do with blue or aqua colors, okay? Any picture or you can even place uh, blue orchids in the north and try to have them. I mean, blue orchids will look good anyway. I love them. And uh, having a, uh, the, and these are very small things, but you will see how, you know, you will feel at home, you will feel relaxed. 
it will uh, it won't make you feel heavy sometimes you must have noticed that you're feeling heavy and whatever is happening the burdens of the world are weighing you down but then it won't happen that way if you're doing this so this is a little bit for um, your balanced equilibrium a little bit on an affirmation and now um, let's begin with the signs and let me tell you what will be the strength for you this month? And uh, these are my cards. I'm using these cards. Uh, these are beautiful energy cards. I'm going to be using them. And I'm going to be talking about this month for you. So let me begin uh, with... Um, do I begin... Uh, Jess, tell me. You're the host. Do I begin with the signs who are present first? Or do I begin in order? How, Ma how you can, do I think you should go in order. It's the best. Okay, in order. So uh, do I begin with Aries first? Because that's the first sign of the zodiac. Okay. We don't have any Aries here, but that's okay. So for the Aries, uh, April 2024, it's going to be a month of transition. You know, I know there's been a lot of transition anyway happening in your financial uh, life, especially. But even in this month, you know, there's going to be a lot of transition. You have to move. Maybe, you know, you'll have to even move away or take a new direction or reevaluate what you're doing. But the best part is that there is a financial venture that you had started long back. This month, it's finally going to take off in a big, big way. And I think this is just beautiful. Family life is going to be awesome. Your health is going to be awesome. The only thing that you would need to control is your temper. Very volatile, very aggressive. And once you get into that aggressive, volatile temper of yours, you know what's going to happen? You're going to rub people the wrong way. And when you rub people the wrong way, you know what's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> so all this goodness that's coming your way see it's your karma again it's your action again you will not be able to reap uh, the goodness of the energies that are coming for you this month of april so because you're spoiling it with the wrong karma that you're doing and what is that wrong thing that you're doing you're being too aggressive you're being volatile you'll have to control yourself so you'll have to do a lot of breathing you'll have to do that those affirmation chanting just listen to music just connect with nature you know walk barefoot on the grass just do these little things but what is your strength for the month let's see so i've pulled out a card for you this is the card i don't know if you can see it wait can you see it now Oopsie. A little bit. Bring it to your face, maybe. Then it'll be visible. Yeah. yeah. So this is the card. Okay, now this is a beautiful card. It says opportunities are coming your way. And uh, they're just actually falling. You know, they're going to just enter your door. So, you know, you don't even have to go after them, running for after them. They're just going to be there for the asking. So this is brilliant. I think don't let go of this beautiful energy that's coming your way, Aries. Um, have a wonderful month and uh, God bless you. Let's talk about the Taurians now. Okay, Taurians. Taurians, okay, we don't have any Taurian here, but yes. Taurian uh, is an earth sign. And um, very stubborn they are, but uh, it's going to be quite an enjoyable month. It's lots of triumphs, lots of achievements, lots of recognitions. You know, it, there's going to be a, a dream come true for the Taurians this month. You know, something that they uh, were waiting for for a long, long time. Many times we wait for something to happen in our lives, but it doesn't happen. But this month, the month of April is a month when it's actually going to happen. Uh, so I would just say enjoy the glory of this month. And um, what I'm seeing is don't rest on your laurels, you know, keep on working. So again, you have the Saturnian energies in full play uh, for the Taurians in this month. So if you rest on your past laurels and think that you can just rule, sit down doing nothing and let things take care of themselves, well, it's not going to happen that way. You'll have to continue working. But yes, everything is going to come to you, you know, just running to you this month. If you just, you know, if you just continue, uh, you know, honoring, uh, you know, continue with your efforts. And yes, don't forget to have attitudes of gratitude for all those people who have been helping you on your journey. Because it's very important to time and again thank those people. And what is that strong? Um, and yes, yeah, humility will keep you grounded. Just remember that, Taurians. Wow, this is the card. Wait, I'll put it on my face. See it now? 
Yes. So this is the card. This is your strength for the month. Trust. If you do something with trust, trust that God is with you. Trust that good things will happen, not only for you, for your family, at the workplace, for people who are working for you, for people that you care about, for whatever that you wish. Just trust. Once you trust, because this is going to be a strong, strong strength for you in the month of April audience. So remember that and have a wonderful April month. Now let's talk about what's the next sign, Jess? Is anybody a Gemini over here? No. Okay. Geminis are basically air signs like Aquarians, like Librans, they're air signs. So Geminis, um, this month, you know, you're going to be caught in a kind of a limbo. You'll, it's a month where you'll have to do a lot of patient waiting. And that patient waiting could be sort of, um, you know, how waiting is. You keep on waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen. It doesn't happen. You get restless. You start becoming hyper. Then you start, you know, um, what do you say? You you start bursting out, lashing out, you know, and sometimes you get into a very wrong kind of a uh, a mood also. So perhaps, you know, you'll have to give up something in order to get something. So it. It works this way at times, you know, you have to give something in order to get something back. Uh, there's a there's a very famous Hindi line which says, Kuch khona hai, kuch paana hai. So, you know, that is a classic case for you, um, Geminis, for this month. You will have to adjust a lot of things. You will have to let go of certain things in order to embrace the goodness that's coming your way. There could be a heavy finance, uh, fin uh, financial, uh, you know, uh, expenses this month, but uh, you will have them. It's not that you're going to be looking that where where will I, uh, you know, get my finances from. The finances will be coming, but a lot of them will be going away as well. So this month could be a little, little uh, difficult for you, but um, it will be very good for you if you do not hold on to rigid opinions, you know, and um, you are also honest to yourself. But let's see what's your super strength this month. Okay, here's your super strength. Clarity of belief. You need to be clear in what you want. Do not uh, take too much on your platter because if you take too much on your platter, you're going to be in for trouble. Like what I just now said to you. So it's going to be a little difficult month, but it doesn't mean that it's the end of the world. I've given you affirmations. I've given you, uh, you know, what to put in the four directions of your home and I'm sure everything will be fine. So... That was it for the Geminis. Uh, let's move on to Cancerians. Uh, and Cancerian, right? Jyoti is a Cancerian. Yay, Jyoti. <laughs> it's your <laughs> sign. Wait yes, a minute, Jyoti. I think uh, your husband is a Gemini, right? Yes, yes. So I hope you. I hope he, uh, he heard his sign. <laughs> yes, he heard his <laughs> Okay, okay, wonderful. He so now let me, let me talk about, okay, hello, how are you doing? Fine, madam. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very... That's uh, that's amazing. Absolutely, you know. I and I believe that both you, your wife, and your son, both of them are Cancerians. So we're going to be talking yeah. about Cancerians now. All right. So what is the month of uh, uh, you know April all about for the Cancerians? Well, it's a month uh, about choices. Lots of choices you're going to uh, get this month. And they will also, you know, you know, when we have too many choices, we also get baffled. You know, we become confused. <laughs> so there's going to be lots of choices. So you will have to depend on your good sense and uh, your intuition, your heart. It, it's mostly to do with the heart. So go with the heart and listen to what your heart says. Listen to what your intuition says and take full responsibility for the choices that you make. Do not blame anyone. If you blame anyone, you will add to bad karma. So we don't want bad karma. We want good karma. And uh, we want that you uh, reap the dividends of all the good work that you've been doing. So the choices that you make, um, you know what? There could be some kind of a sacrifice involved over here. So I don't know in what area of your life, uh, but you will know that. You, you will know that sometimes, you know, you need to make a little sacrifice. And when I say sacrifice, it could mean that you'll probably need to give more time to, let's say, um, your ailing mother, if she's ailing and you need to spend more time with her, or you need to, you know, go out and do some work for charity. Uh, 
a little sacrifice on your time, not that major kind of sacrifice, but this little thing. And again, you know, this will help you in making the right choices. So when you feel good for others, goodness will come back to you. It's like when you wish good for others, good things come back to you. It's come that back. kind of month for you. So I don't think it, I think this is good because many times when you're doing good for people, you're being a humane person, you're being, uh, doing a good deed for someone, putting a smile on someone's face, you know, life becomes so much wonderful. And I think that's the way, you know, at times your, your patience could also be tested, but you know, you will sail brilliantly. And, uh, you know, towards the end of the month, there could be some good news coming your way. So I would say, <clears throat> make the right choices. Believe in yourself, believe in your intuition, uh, go out and help someone. Uh, if you see someone needs a little bit of a help, take out some time from your busy routine in a day and spend time with them. This is going to really help. Uh, and this is not only for Jyoti, but this is for all the Cancerians. And if you can do that, just nothing like it. Uh, but yes, um, relationships could be a little turbulent. So ensure that you know, you're able to... Um, the channel of communication, the channels of communication must be open. So it's not like if there's a little tiff between um, the husband and the wife or the mother and the daughter or the, you know, mother and the son or the daughter and the father. If there's a little kind of a tiff, be the first one to initiate. Mm -hmm. Keep the channels of communication open forever. Remember that. Now, let's see um, uh, what no. is your super strength for the month. Wow. Oh, wow. Can you see? Can you see this card? This mm -hmm. says believe and succeed. Yes. Yes. So believe in what you're doing and success will definitely be yours. You've got a very strong strength for the month of April. Cancerians make good use of it. So good wishes to the Cancerians. Um, it's going to be a Thank month you. of believing in yourself it's going to be a month which is going to be super successful but only successful if you start believing in yourself so that's very important well um, let's move on now to the leos do we have a leo here devashri was supposed to join but she hasn't but okay let's do leos so leos um as per your um month your reading for the month of april 2024 there you need to actually um resolve to clever tactics and keen diplomatic skills in order to resolve a tricky situation and um which i see a lot of happening in this month so there could be some kind of a mess that you get into a relationship mess a professional mess uh, maybe if you're a student you could get you know involved in something that your friend does but you get involved in that so you will have to learn how to very diplomatically come out of that tricky situation uh, this happens to the best of us at times you know because you 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 want to go out there and help people you know we get ourselves in trouble many times it happens to the best of us again but you know what if we um know how to very nicely talk it out. And Leos are good talkers. Leos have a lot of charisma. Leos um, are almost born leaders and very good with their communication. So use your charm, use your communication skill and just come out of that tricky situation. Sometimes you will have to battle with your own, uh, you know, little, uh, what do you call that? You you have a lot of conflicts going on in your mind. So, you know, your, your mind could be really conflicted in the month of April. But again, you know, I gave you that powerful chanting and I told you to put certain things in the four directions. Do that. It will definitely help. And just believe. But let's see what your special super strength is. Mm, here we go. Your super strength is you need to open up and not to keep things to yourself. Okay, so when you are faced with some kind of a tricky situation, do not hesitate to take the support of your, um, you know, whoever you believe in. So it could be your parents, it could be your, uh, you know, your loved one, it could be your sister, your brother, your sibling, your friend, whoever you believe in, do not hesitate to take support many times we don't even want to say it many times we keep our things to ourselves and we are not able to come out of a tricky situation so don't be afraid of seeking the help and support of a mentor in your life so that's important for you all right so that was leo let's move on to virgos virgos anyone a virgo here no one all right anyway virgos let me just say this fast for you it's a magical month for you 
Wow. Absolutely. Anyone has a family member who's a Virgo? Well, they, they can pass on this good information to them. You have all the wonderful ingredients of uh, success, amazing power, amazing ability. And you know what? You don't even realize it, but you have this power to, you know, manifest your desires, your dreams. But you know, one thing, this which I feel is very good about you, that you're very humble. You're so modest. You don't even speak to the whole world that, yay, I have done this. You're not like that at all. You know, you, you are very humble and modest about all your achievements. And that is what makes you even more uh, a beautiful human being, I would say. So it's a magical month. You have this ability to make your choices very, very confidently. Uh, something very good is happening at the home front. Perhaps, you know, you're thinking of renovation, renovation in the home, or you're thinking of moving to a different home. Um, it depends on your kind. Maybe you want to get into a let's say a little bigger home or which is closer to your workplace, something like that. You know, you're thinking of that. Also, I see a, a, some travel coming your way, which will be good for you uh, in the month of April. So travel for pleasure and business mode. So I think um, it's the ultimate high achiever month for you. Whatever you're going to do, you're going to get extreme success, ultimate kind. I think this is a wow month for you. Um, let's see what your, uh, you know, um, Super strength is your super strength for the month, uh, Virgos, is success and growth, which was as per the reading for the month. This is your uh, strength for the month, success and growth. Wow. So enjoy yourselves and uh, have a fantastic month of uh, April. Now let's move on and talk about uh, the Librans. Well, uh, Librans, anyone a Libran here? Yes. Hi, Tanushri. <laughs> okay, so Librans, um, a little emotional for you. I, I don't know how March was, but I think there were some emotional turbulence maybe. I think so. With some of my Libran friends there were and some of my li people who um, talk to me and who belong to the sign have been telling me that. But this month, you know, it's time to let go of your attachments. You know, one reason for your emotional uh, turbulence is attachments. And not attachments to human beings. It could be attachment to some kind of a situation, attachment to some, maybe you're working with a particular person. You need to stop working with that person and you need to uh, work with someone else. I'm just giving you an example. You please match it with your lives, you know. So you need to just let go of attachments, not fear the loss of one thing which will soon be replaced by another good thing. So if you let go of attachments, that thing which you thought was very good will be replaced by one more thing, which is even better. And you will realize this sooner or later. Maybe you won't realize this immediately, but you will. This month, you will have to embrace change and just go with the flow. So there could be some kind of a change coming in your life this month uh, for, can, uh, for the liberals. Also, you know... Um, it's a month that uh, you, you know, do not let any kind of obsessions happen. Sometimes, you know, we, we get obsessed about something. For example, you know, I get obsessed about cleanliness. Everything should be sparkling clean. Well, that, well, that's not a good thing also. You know, if you get obsessed, you become a hypochondriac about something. Or sometimes, you know, about our health, we become a hypochondriac. Do not get obsessed with anything. Or if you have children, you're too bothered about, oh, something might happen to my child. Then you call you know the child has gone to play with her friend you call up that a person you know wherever they've gone and you're finding continuously finding out what's happened to the child why hasn't the child come back home or something like that you're unnecessarily obsessed about something well this could lead to you know if this happens to you, you know you start living in a dualistic kind of a world so you don't know what's happening and you will get confused in your mind and that again will lead to some kind of emotional disturbance in the mind so need to let go of these kind of um, uh, attachments that are there which are actually having a toxic effect on your mind and you need to embrace the new things that are entering your life which will and you know what you will also realize that if there is loss of any kind it could actually be a gain for you we don't realize it, but any kind of a loss can actually bring about a gain for you. And that is what's going to happen. So don't grieve. Don't have regrets. Focus on what has been retained. That is very, very important. You know, I think a little change in priorities will also help, um, if, help you to have a beautiful month of April. 
and a satisfying month of April. Now, what is your super strength? Your super strength, Librans. Can you see this? It says you need to change your focus. The super strength for you for this month of April, 2024, change your focus. This is important. So that was it for the Torian, uh, sorry, the Librans. Now let's move on to the Scorpions. Anyone a Scorpion here? No one. All right, so Scorpions, uh, you need to have fun and smile at life a little bit. And you need to look for new ways to handle old situations. So in adapting to the world around you, you will also uh, create an effective way uh, to achieve your current aims. The month, this month, you know, sees you brimming with confidence. You're going to be very energetic, very exuberant, very radiant this month. You will shine with your talents. You will shine in your confidence and abilities. Just keep on believing in yourself, but stay alert to everything that is happening around you. That is very important or the things that you might have to balance so again that question that word balance comes into the picture i think it's very relevant considering that i gave you those directions and what to place in those four directions for the month of april 2024 and um, so you have to just na navigate your life with a little bit of flexibility this month scorpions and um, this is what you're going to get your super strength because anyway you're going to be smiling a lot so look you're going to get this you will oh my god i'm i'm hiding you are going to get a reward this month. Wow, wow, wow. So, <laughs> so uh, this is for the uh, the Sagittarians, you know. Sagittarians, did I say or the Scorpions? Scorpions, sorry, sorry, Scorpions. Scorpions, well-deserved reward is coming your way. So keep, uh, keep that smile going. That's why, you know, it said that when you're smiling, you know, somehow if there are problems, they just go away miraculously. So even for all of us, I think let's just keep on smiling and things will just fall in place. Well, now coming to the Sagittarians, and I'm sure Ketki was waiting for this. So Ketki, it's your turn. Let's see what the month has for you. Okay, so some Sagittarians, the Sagittarian babies. The month of April 2024 is going to be literally, you will have to be in the dark. Now, understand what I mean by that. This might be a difficult situation for you. There could be a difficult situation from which you feel there is no way out. Perhaps you're already feeling this and you are still trying to come out of it. And it's going to continue in the month of April. All right. You will also feel that there is no way out. That's what you will feel. But there is a way out, but you will feel this way that there is no way out. Okay, you could be harboring an illusion also. You could be disillusioned, you could be harboring an illusion, you might have to fight against, uh, you know, the temptations of giving in. Sometimes what happens is when things are going wrong, we then say, all right, let me just go by what is happening. But don't do that. If stay strong, you know, the tarot energies for the month for you, for the month of April 24 for Sagittarius is to remain strong, to keep, keep themselves grounded, you know. So when I say that, do a lot of chanting. If you can do some Gayatri mantra chanting, it's really going to help you. You have to take control of your life. You cannot be giving away your power to somebody else because that could happen. It could be very easy. And this could even happen not only in your personal life, but also in your, in your professional life. Maybe, um, you know, people are taking you for granted at the workplace and giving you too much things to do, which again is wrong. So learn to say no. Do not keep on saying yes when you want to say no. Because what will happen is if you keep on taking too many projects at the workplace or too much work more than that which you can handle things will just you know you will feel trapped you will feel trapped and as it is already you know you are already fighting with some situation you are in the dark about something this will just add to your grief and make you a bundle of nerves and we cannot have that because if you become a bundle of nerves you will lose your confidence but that doesn't mean uh, you cannot come out of it. Although you feel trapped this month, um, Sagittarians, there is a solution if you are prepared to look around you. The solution is around you. You just need to look. Also, don't confuse uh, you know, what you're seeing 
with the reality. Because like I say, all that glitters is definitely not gold. And what is your super strength for the month? Rest and reconsider. So take time for rest. You know, go out, go to the spa, get yourself a new uh, haircut, get your, uh, you know, give, get yourself, get a massage, you know, book a massage with uh, at the salon or, you know, do something for yourself. Or buy, buy a new wardrobe, get a new hairstyle, try a different makeup routine, try a new healthcare re regime. You know, this is something that will make you feel good about yourself and you will be able to think. Clearly, just remember that and have a fantastic month. All right. I still have to talk about the eclipses. I'll do that quickly. Now let's come to uh, what's the next sign, Sagittarius. Now we have uh, Capricorn. All right. Anyone a Capricorn here? Yeah, it's Jess. Okay. She's a choreographer, so that's why she's dancing. <laughs> okay, Jess, um, what is your month like? Uh, what is a month for the Capricorns like? Well, um, Loads of situations, loads of things happening very rapidly. They may end just as quickly this month. So whatever started happening pretty fast is going to end this month. So don't don't just jump, say, yeah, I got it. You still have to continue working hard. Like I said, Saturnian energy. We have to believe in hard work. It is a time when you have when you cannot make hasty decisions. You make hasty decisions, you get into super trouble. And you know, the positivity that, that you have within you, that positivity will actually turn into negativity. And you will start wondering why aren't things happening good for me? You'll probably, uh, you know, get in this journey where you'll start valuing in self-pity. And uh, again, that's not, that's not a good thing. You might get into a little bit of squabbles with people. You might, uh, so don't rush headlong into making any decisions without careful thought or when you are in a bad mood. Don't make any ha uh, hasty decisions then. Give yourself time. You need to seek uh, support. Talk to someone that you trust, uh, but do not reveal your secrets to people left, right, and center because they will, you know, uh, stab you on your back. The energies for this month are the stabbing energy. So you have to be very, very careful this month, Capricorn. Um, also, you know, uh, you might meet someone who will be extremely vain you know, extremely vain. And those extremely vain energies could rub off on you negatively. So if something positive is happening in your life, it will turn into a negative. You know, sometimes we keep on wondering and saying to ourselves, everything was going on fine. What happened all of a sudden? Well, this is what will happen all of a sudden. So be, just be very careful that if you meet a person who's too vain, Stay away from that person because you know, whatever, you'll have to believe one thing. We are surrounded by energies. We also are energies. That's why I always say, if you've been re watching my videos uh, on my page, on my YouTube channel, on Instagram, I always say that we have energies around us and we have to keep our energies. Uh, you know, we have to have an armor. If we have an armor around our energies, even if somebody's directing negativity towards us, it will just bang and go back. It won't really come to us. It won't enter inside our body and make us feel weak. What happens is many times, and this is for all of us, it also happens to me. It's not that I'm, I'm a tarot reader, I'm an occult person, that it doesn't happen. I'm also a human being. It happens to me as well. So that's the time when we need to always remain strong. We need to, sometimes, you know, we, we're, we're not able to do our affirmations. We're not able to uh, give some time to ourselves. And when we are doing too much, we're taking too many things to do. And then, you know, we don't have time for ourselves that's why it happens so just remember that and uh, look after yourself well and what is your strength love so if you have someone who loves you hug hug say something nice you know talk to that person smile with that person go out with that person but love love will actually make you come out of any difficult situation so love energies wow this is beautiful huh this is beautiful for Capricorns. All right. So coming to Aquarius. Yay. So I have Dr. Caroline smiling. And uh, let me tell you, I'm an Aquarian as well. So let's see. Saturnian and your energy. But let's see what this month is giving us. Well, it's a month of communication. We talk. 
And I think we do that a lot. <laughs> and Dr. Caroline also does that a lot. So giving expression to your dreams. We don't just dream. We try to give expression to our dreams. I'm not, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about Aquarians in general. You know, this is the most forward-looking sign of the Zodiac. We think at least 100 years ahead of our times, 100 years ahead of our times, you know? And people say, are you, are you, have you gone nuts? Are you bonkers? You know, what the heck are you doing? You know, people generally cannot understand us and we are the most misunderstood signs. We always have the good of everyone at, at heart, but people cannot even take that. So when you are, when we're being nice, we're genuinely being nice to people, Aquarians, people cannot take that because the thing that, why would this person want to be good to me? What is she actually wanting or what is he actually wanting in return? It's not that way. Aquarians are like that. And that's what gets them into trouble. And that will happen this month also. So go slow on your humanitarian deeds. I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't do them. Do them where they're appreciated. Okay, go where you're celebrated and not tolerated. That is so important for Aquarians this month. But yes, inspiration, illumination, direction from positive thoughts could lead to goal fulfillment this month. Uh, a creative project will take off in a super duper way, grandiose way, you know, and uh, beyond your ex expectations. And you're going to be very, very happy. Uh, also, uh, good news from foreign shores. There could be some travel also. Uh, not maybe this month, but in the coming months, there could be some travel or you could be making plans for some kind of travel, but there could also be short distance travel. So I think, you know, uh, though there are trials and tribulations for you, Aquarians, but yet, you know, I see a lot of um, good things happening through your creative projects. But again, again, remember those warning signs. When you're doing something nice for someone, don't go overboard doing it. Always remember that, you know, <laughs> you're going to be and you know you'll have 102 percent chances of being misunderstood so go slow and uh, help smile be nice communicate make someone feel good about themselves but don't go don't go overboard always remember that and what is your super strength okay here's your super strength isn't this a beautiful card and no, no, I'm not biased towards Aquarians, but this just came out. It was on the deck. It says giving and receiving. So give and receive. Don't just keep on giving, giving. I think it's very, uh, it, it, it makes a lot of sense, you know, as per the reading that just now happened, because we just give, give, give. We don't really believe in taking it back. But, you know, um, if something comes your way, embrace it. And uh, be thankful to God Almighty. So giving and receiving is your super strength for the month. Now let's talk about the Pisceans. The last but definitely not the least. So if you have friends, family belonging to this sign, well, Pisceans, you're going to be dreaming a lot this month. It's The focus this month is going to be a lot on your health and a lot on your family. And you know what? There has been some kind of a major... Um, what do you say, a major war happening between family members. So, and, you know, because of that, you have been cut off from some members of the family. But this month is a good month to make amends with people that you have cut yourself off from. So it, it may not necessarily just be someone very close. It could also be a very close friend who is family. It could be your partner. It could be, what do I say? It could be anyone that you're close to. You know, you have to make amends. You have to, you know, tie the loose ends together. Uh, kiss and make up, I would say, you know, with them. And because you know what, this is also disturbing your mental health. I'm not saying physical health also, you know, you have had major, you know, I think many, many Pisons would have had major operations in the last couple of months, even in 2023, major operations also I, I could see. That all will come to an end if you, you know, uh, Learn to have a loving heart. The problem is that you are not healing from within. You need to heal from within. If you're, if you heal yourself from within, and how can how can you heal yourself from within? You know, it's very simple actually. Simple routines like journaling. 
simple routines like chanting, simple routines like meditation, simple routines like connecting yourself with nature will go a long way in helping you to heal yourself, to heal your relationships, and to ensure that you uh, enjoy not only a good physical health, but a good mental health. So this month, there's a lot of focus on your mental as well as physical health, but you will be able to do a good job if you come out of your daydreaming. Don't keep on daydreaming that if this happens, this will happen, this will happen. Don't, don't do that only. You know, it's like you're planning, 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 but you're not walking that talk. So you have to walk that talk. That is something very important for the Pisons. And let me see what is your strength for the month. Listen. And when I say listen, this is listening to someone who can be a good mentor, your counselor, your psychotherapist, a teacher, a guide, someone. You need to listen because you have not been listening to anyone. It could even be a parent, but you must listen. You have just been doing things on your own whims and fancies and they haven't been working for you. Life has been a little difficult. If you've had moments of happiness, they have been, you know, sort of the moments of grief have been more. So just remember that and uh, have a fantastic month. Well, uh, that was it for all the signs of the Zodiac um, from Aries to Pisces. Uh, but now um, I want to tell you one thing. April 8th, around the first week of April could be a little intense. You will probably all be feeling different kinds of emotions. Don't get worried uh, because, you know, we have a major solar eclipse happening on the 8th of April. Now, this solar eclipse is going to be bringing in, it's not, uh, we're not going to be seeing it in um, India, uh, but Tanushri, you will be seeing this in Canada. Since you're in Canada, you're in Canada, right? So Canada, US, Mexico, North America, uh, this uh, lunar, uh, sorry, solar eclipse is going to be visible. Uh, in a big I am, I am in the, I am in the US. Sorry, I was trying to unmute. Yeah, United so, States. So even in the US, you know, even in the US, you know, this uh, solar eclipse is going to have its impact. So you will have to be careful. There's going to be a lot of transformation. And for some signs, you know, we had this thing that you have to accept changes. You have to let go of something. You have to give up something in order to get something. And it is so, you know, it is actually, it's reflecting the uh, the eclipse energy also for this month. So when eclipses ha happen, maybe you have already been feeling this for the last three, four months. And we all have. Like all of you told me just now that and that was the reason, you know, Jess also asked all of you, tell us something about what happened in the first three months or the last month. And you all said it was like this. It wasn't exactly hunky-dory for everyone. It was more like uh, ups and downs, kabi kushi, kabi gum, uh, the highs and the lows. So high immediately followed by a low. Low, a little moment of happiness, again, huge uh, grief. So, you know, moments like that had happened a lot. And I would put a lot of this on uh, the eclipses that have happened. This is the first solar eclipse for this year. We're going to have four. We've already had two. One we've already had on the 25th of March. Again, it, it didn't make too much of effect. Um, it was um, in India. It wasn't visible at all. Uh, but the solar eclipse is going to be, vis uh, you know, have an impact. Though we're not going to be able to, we're not going to be seeing it in India. In the US, yes. But uh, we will still feel the impact. So quickly, I will tell all of you what will be the impact. So just keep it in mind, but don't get bothered about it. And on the day of the eclipse on Instagram live, I will be taking in your query so you can join the Insta live on uh, the 8th of April. All right. So let me just tell you what's going to happen. If you're an Aries, um, there's just one warning. Do not purchase vehicles because those vehicles will lead to some kind of bad luck for you. If you uh, but, you know, if you're an Aries, these four signs are really going to make it really big. You know, the, the eclipse energy is really good for these four signs. Aries, Gemini, Leo and Sagittarius. In a way, why it's going to be good? Because it's going to be bringing in something for you, which will lead you to better times. So the energies of the eclipse for Aries is going to bring promising prospects. I think even in their reading, I did say that financial financial gains are there. Gemini's, though I did say that it's going to be a difficult month for you, but you will have investment luck. So if you are investing in something, you will get luck in that. For Leo's, um, I did say that, you know, you will 
uh, uh, you know, probably you'll have to use some diplomatic uh, tactics, you know, there'll be some tricky situations. But again, you know, you will get a lot of support. So it's a very supportive energy for you. The eclipse is bringing a lot of supportive energy for the Leos. For the Sagittarians, you know, um, though you're going to be laddled with a lot of hard work, not so much at the workplace, but you will be noticed by people who matter the most to you. So maybe, you know, uh, if you belong to a certain profession, for example, uh, people belonging to that profession, not necessarily at, in your organization, but people belonging to different organizations will take notice. And, you know, they might offer you something or you might get some kind of an appreciation or some kind of a major, uh, you know, award coming. And I think that's a major feel-good energy for you. So despite uh, it being a very difficult month, this will be good news for you. All right. So I would say just accept it. And um, what what do I say for the others? Well, um, if you are a Taurian, Taurian, there could be shifts in your passion, purpose and career. For cancer, it could be you need to let go um, of uh, the micromanage. Do you micromanage things too much? small, small things for your family members, for your in-laws, for your uh, uh, colleagues at the workplace, for your neighbors. If you're doing a lot of micromanaging their lives, stop doing it because you are ultimately harming your own self. This is what the uh, eclipse energy is telling us. Um, then if you are a Virgo, healing from deep wounds within. So there are some things that, you know, have uh, some hurtful words that have been said to you in the past. And this energy of the solar eclipse will bring a lot of healing for you. Librans, uh, balance. Balance will be restored. And uh, if you had some kind of a health issue, uh, things will become much better after the eclipse. So that is a good thing. And if you're a scorpion, you know, it's more to do with introspection. You hardly do any kind of introspection. Why are you doing what you're doing? You know, you need to ask yourself that question. Why am I doing this? What am I getting out of this? What is this getting me into? You know, you have to question yourself. Why are you doing the things that you're doing? Capricorn, you need to master self-care. You need to put yourself first, okay? Stop giving, 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 giving. I think this is a lot to do with the Saturnian energy in Capricorns and Aquarians. I mean, we can't help it. It just comes naturally to us, you know. <laughs> Dr. Caroline is also smiling. I'm smiling because I do it also all the time. And uh, Jess is also smiling. You know, this happens. This happens. And, you know, <laughs> though we don't want to, but it happens automatically. So we can't really help it. But just keep on doing the good things. But remember to keep yourself also somewhere. Aquarians, trust and flow. These two words, you know, trust and flow. Trust that whatever is happening is good and good things will come your way because when there is faith, there can be no fear. This is the energy that the eclipse is bringing for the Aquarians. And for the Pisces, shake off your complacency. You know, you really need to shake it off. You need to get out, make amends with people that you have hurt in the past, uh, with that you have fought with in the past. You need to heal relationships. It's a good time to do that. So these are the energies of the solar eclipse. We will be experiencing this on the 8th of April. And you can join me on my live on Instagram for that. Well, um, this is what I had to say. And uh, if you have any questions, we can quickly do for 10 minutes. Um, questions? Do we have some time? It's already, oh my God, it's already 9.30. Uh, maybe one, one or two questions, quickly. Does anybody have a, a question or maybe... Uh, okay, so uh, one thing I'll just tell you because, because I've seen all the energies. Um, Understand that you need to balance your chakras, okay? And uh, I'm going to give you the chakras, the seven chants for all the chakras. You can just do that as a final, as a final tip. Oh, is that Trayambak? Yes, ma'am. Surprise you for you. Up? Huh? Good evening, ma'am. How? Oh, good evening. You've grown up now. You're changed. Okay, good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, so the, the, the seven powerful words... For chakra healing, you can keep on doing this for the month of, um, uh, put on some music and do it. So the very first one is LAM, L-A-M, LAM. Then the next one is, you know it? Jess, do you know it? LAM, VAM. VAM. The Ram. next one? 
Yum rum. or rum. And rum is very important. Let me tell you the trick for rum. If you are feeling that you know you're not getting um uh, you're not getting your due at the workplace or people are not respecting you, they're always taking you for granted. <laughs> Put your hand on your navel and say this word rum. R A M rum and let the m Mm, you know that the uh, that that kind of a sound with that b sound let just let that happen especially if you're not getting your worth and you know the next sound which is um yum the heart chakra what is that yum yum so when we are feeling that we cannot uh, you know take or we cannot give i think this is excellent to do it then so we may not need to do all of them we can just do where we're feeling a little lack so do yum okay then we come to hum. the throat. What? Hum. Hum. So for our throat, sometimes what happens is that, you know, you feel, you have a lot of things to say. You say that I'm going to talk to my boss today and I'm going to ask my boss for an increase uh, or a promotion or blah, 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 or something. You know, you want to ask for something from your boss or you want to talk you want to make a presentation very effectively at the workplace or, you, or your communication, but you just cannot say it when the time comes. You get that fright, uh, stage fright. You cannot face the crowd. You cannot say the right words or the right words don't come out from your mouth. Or, you know, when you start speaking, it's more shaky. And, you know, uh, it's it sounds very jittery and it sounds very unconvincing. And you lose a good, uh, you lose a battle that you had almost won because of your poor communication at that time that's the time to say this this word what is this word h u m hum h a m h a m h a m it's h a m sorry h a m then you come to your third eye chakra for the third eye chakra it's a good thing to draw a red uh, a, a red ball a red uh, or just have a red a red circle in front of you and try to look at it. Look at it because you want to get focus here. And you can tap. You know, use these two fingers, your index finger and your middle finger, and tap. Tap. And then press hard on this. That way, you know, you will be able to energize your um, third eye chakra. And the third eye chakra chant is OM. O-M. OM. And for the crown chakra, it is silent home so you can say it in your mind so these are the seven words you can say this to activate your chakras and maybe next time we can talk in length about them maybe in one uh one more session like this we can talk about them and uh, you could share what what uh, what is happening to you and i could say tell you what area of your life needs activation so uh, thank you so much, everyone, for joining uh, today. But uh, I hand it over to uh, Jess now, our host for the evening, The Tarot Show with Alka. And this was episode one. And this is going to lead on to so many episodes. And I'm hoping that the family on The Tarot Show will continue growing because uh, the more the merrier. <laughs> and uh, maybe next time we will have everyone. I mean, there were everyone promised us to join uh, today, but maybe they had some commitments, so they couldn't. But uh, best wishes to them also. But okay, Jess, it's over to you now for the final word. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful session this was! I loved it, and I, I, I was so happy that at least something I knew, even though it's just the chakra chanting. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm already practicing it. Uh, I guess, like, as ma'am said, that yes, things are going to go like this. They are always going to be like this. That's the flow. I mean, you can't battle the flow. So accept the flow with a smile. Even when you feel like crying, just put your hand <laughs> here and say, I love myself. I love my life. And I'm very happy that wherever I am, I am in good health and in a yeah. good space and I can get myself back to my energies so yeah believe in your energy it's flowing around you and within you and we'll have the same energy next month absolutely have a fantastic April month and yes uh, just reminding all of you if you want to check out on the daily energies uh, daily tarot energies are on Alka Home of Tarot which is the Facebook page where I'm where we're doing this live and uh, 
Instagram, generally, I give you those numbers, mystical numbers, mystical codes. We talk about dream interpretations. I haven't done that in quite some time. I'll start doing that now because I've been asked that, you know, many times we get these dreams. So what are, it's not just about the dream, but what is the meaning of the dream in relation to tarot? Sometimes, you know, it's also to a lot to do with our past life, you know, so karmic, karmic events happening. So those kind of things on Instagram and on uh, YouTube, you will, uh, which is, um, a H O T E one zero eight. You will find all these podcasts over there. Not only the tarot ones, not only the mystical ones, but also a lot of uh, podcasts where we can learn a lot about life. You know, it's a lot about life lessons from uh, people, uh, good human beings, not only from our country, but from all over the globe. So uh, do subscribe to that channel and. Um, Every time, you know, a lot to do with the, the months energies, all that will go on the YouTube channel. So I am going to do this. I'm not going to repeat what I do on one side. But yes, for uh, for your um, uh, the, the show that I do, the weekly tarot predictions, that generally goes on uh, my YouTube channel. So you can listen to the radio in case you miss it, uh, which generally happens on a Saturday. If you miss that, you can de definitely, you know, uh, listen to it on uh, the YouTube channel. So with that, uh, I would just say, keep smiling always, uh, keep the faith and believe in your abilities. Life is beautiful and we can do a lot for ourselves. And remember, it's karma. No matter all the rituals you're told by not only me, but by the whole world, remember that, you know, the hard work, never compromise on the hard work and never get complacent. Just remember that and keep smiling and let's connect pretty soon again, maybe earlier than next month. Let's connect in a week or two, two weeks perhaps, whenever we have time and let's try to stick to time a little, just a little bit over, but not too much. I think this much we can, we can. So thank you once again to everyone. If in case anybody wants to give a parting shot, they can do it. Jess has already spoken. Thank you so much, Jess. You were a brilliant host. I just loved having you. Now you're <laughs> you're regularly hosting it. <laughs> um, Dr. Caroline, you want to say something as a parting shot? Yeah, thank you so much. I was listening to you the entire uh um, talks that you have given and it's very accurate and I'm so thankful uh, and um, I really appreciate you giving efforts besides you having to work you know, in so many ways as an educationist as well and at the same time giving um, you know extra time for something you're passionate about and plus helping us all at the same time. Thank you so much. That's what I have to say. Wow, thank you. I, I'm already feeling blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Jyoti, you want to say something? <laughs> I feel you do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. So, uh, lo lots, lots of improvement in Triumvok also. The way we were chanting today about, he has started talking about karma and things like that. It was really feeling very blessed and that's why it, he reminded me of joining the session without fail <laughs> so, <laughs> my love to him he's always a charming yeah. boy yeah that's so and my learning for the day was micromanagement which you were saying uh, i have to work on that i just <laughs> pop into everybody's life and i just try to sort things out which i, I should control myself i've learned that today so thank you so much. Thank you very much. You. Ketki, what would you want to say? <laughs> thank you so much, ma'am, for your uh, lovely session. It's always great to hear you, talk to you. I always feel good after talking to you. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for your guidance. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone. God bless you all. Thank you, Jess, once again for hosting. Thank you, ma'am, to you for this thank beautiful you. session. Uh, thank you so much. Next time, maybe we can have two hosts. Uh, I don't know, whoever from all of you. Uh, you're the founder for the show. So I will. you will always hold a special place in my life because uh, I started this this kind of, a, you know, uh, giving uh, my tarot predictions in this way. And I think, and I'm thankful to all of you. So Many, many thanks, lots of love, lots of smiles and um, 
I'm feeling so blessed myself. Thank you so much to all of you. And hugs. Thank you. Thank, thank, you, you. thank you, everyone. God bless ah, you. Thank, thank you. Oh, I love the hearts. Ah. I love hearts. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Love <laughs> All right. Well, do we say bye bye now? Bye. 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 Thank bye. you. Bye. Take care. Take care. Bye. Hasta mañana till we meet again. I wish I could sing. Thank I'll you so much. Friend, I'll ask Dr. Caroline to sing next, sing next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank Wonderful you so evening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.